as I apply larger and larger amount of voltage, so if I increase, use a more stronger cell, I'll be able to store more charge on the capacitor. I don't want to apply too much voltage because then the dielectric could break and you could have electrons flowing across the capacitor, which means the capacitor is broken. Capacitance is defined as a charge stored per unit voltage across the capacitor. It's measured in farads. So you can see in this graph here, as you apply more and more voltage, you can store more and more charge. So capacitance measures how much charge you store per voltage. So I'm going to use this graph here to calculate the uh, capacitance. It's going to be, it's actually capacitance equals change in charge divided by change in voltage, which is the gradient of that graph. So I'm going to change in y-axis, it's going to be 30 microfarads, sorry, microcoulombs, divided by 6 volts. That gives me 5 microfarads. Okay, that means I can store 5 microcoulombs per unit um, voltage applied. What is the energy stored using this graph here? Now, you can, you're tempted to think, use work done equals voltage times charge because that's the definition we've learned a, a long time for potential difference. But the problem here is it's easier to add charge at the beginning. And as you add more and more charge, it becomes more and more difficult. So it's actually, we should be using uh, work done is change in uh, voltage, at uh, voltage time change in charge. It's actually the area under this graph. So it needs to be a half. So the equation for the energy stored, I'm going to use E, please don't get mixed up with electric field strength. It's going to be half Q times V. So in the case, in this case here, it's going to be 0 0.5, which is half, times 50 times 10 to minus 6 times 8 volts which gives me 2 times 10 to the power of minus 4 joules. Okay, in this question 3, we have the uh, capacitance is given. So that don't forget, that's capacitance there, and it's given the symbol C. That is not, that's a symbol for it, not the unit. So it's not charge. This capacitance is given, and the voltage is given. And we want to figure out the energy. So... In this question, we can't use this equation here because we, we, we haven't got Q. So what we'll need to do is we'll need to combine the equation, this one, with this equation here to make a new equation. So we have E equals half QV, but we're going to get rid of Q. We're going to use um, Q equals CV right there to give us half c v squared and if you put the numbers in and use uh, the capacitance that's given in this question you should get one times the power of minus three joules now in the last question here we've got the capacitance which is given c we've got uh, sorry that's um that's the charge there and we've got the capacitance there which is c so we we're asked to work out the energy so we can't use this equation because we don't have charge. Um, so we have charge uh, and it does have the expression of charge there. And we can't use this one either because we don't have the voltage. So we need to come up with a new equation. So we have E equals half QV. And because I don't have the voltage, I'm going to get rid of it using the equation V equals Q over C. So if I put this in, I get E equals half Q squared over C. And now I can put these numbers in, and that should give me 2.5 times 10 to the power of minus 4 joules. Okay, here are all the equations for the energy stored in a capacitor. Uh, you need to be able to choose the correct equation to use. In this question, a capacitor is charged to 40 joules of energy. How much charge would be stored on the same capacitor if the voltage is doubled? Now, if it's the same capacitor, that means the capacitance is constant. C, capacitance is constant. The voltage is now twice as much. So the equation you want to use is the one that doesn't have Q in it because you don't know what happened to Q. 
So you don't want to use, you want to use this equation here. And you can see in that equation, if capacitance is a constant, E is direct proportional to V squared. So the energy, and because we're doing two times the voltage, and this is a square, the energy should be four times larger, four times energy. So it's going to be 160 joules. Okay, and second question, capacitor is charged completely then discharged through a resistor such that only a third of the capacitor of the charge remains in the, uh, on the capacitor. How much of the initial charge remains in the capacitor? Now, it's the same capacitor. We haven't changed anything about the capacitor. We haven't changed the dimensions. So the capacitance is constant. And we know the charge is now a third. So which equation should we use? We should use the one without the voltage because we don't know what happened to the voltage. So we should use this equation here. Um, because capacitance is constant, we can ignore that. So we can see E is direct proportional to Q squared. And if it's a third, the charge, and that's going to get squared, so it's going to become a ninth. So a ninth of the energies. So it's going to become a ninth of the initial energy. Okay. The last question here, capacitor is charged completely and the battery is disconnected, such, such that there is no electrical contact between the plates. Now, if there's no electrical contact between the plates, that means the charge is fixed because the charge got nowhere to flow. The area of the plate is doubled, which causes the potential difference to half. What happens to energy stored on the capacitor? Now, the area of the air plate is doubled, which means that the capacitance is going to change. But we can see that this has caused a potential difference to half. So we don't know how the capacitance capac is going to change with the area. So we're going to use, I'm going to use this equation here because I know the Q is constant and I know how the V changes. I can ignore uh, capacitance because we don't know how the capacitance changes. So E is equal to half QV. Uh, Q is constant. V is going to become a half. So the energy is going to become a half.